Module 3, Segment 2, Functions in Company Management. In this training segment, you will learn how to record notes, make Rolodex entries, and use the Cite table. Please note that this training segment assumes that you have already completed Module 1, System Setup, and Module 3, Segment 1, Creating Companies. We will begin accessing the company record you created in the Module 3, Segment 1 training session. Use your mouse to open the Company Management drop-down menu and select Browse. The Find for Browsing Company Entries window opens. In the Company Name field, type the name of the company you created in the previous training segment. Select OK. The Browsing Company Entries window opens, showing all companies that meet the search criteria. Double-click with the mouse anywhere on the line to open the record. The Company Management window opens. Let's begin by recording a note for this company. These notes are for internal use only and will not appear on any printed forms. They will be visible to all users and can be added to as needed. Select the Note Action button. The Notes window opens. Type in the text of the note you'd like to add. Please note that standard Windows Cut, Copy, and Paste functions work here as well. When finished, select OK. The text of the note you created will be visible here. If the note contains more text than can be displayed, you may click on the note icon to access the entire content. Now we will record information for multiple contacts within this company using the Rolodex function. We will be able to bring this contact information into records we create. Select the Rolodex Action button. The Browsing Company Rolodex window opens. Select the Add Action button to enter your contact. The Adding New Contact for Company window opens. Complete all applicable fields with the information for this contact. In addition to the name field, the phone, fax, and email fields you see here will also be brought into a record. For this reason, it is important that you do not leave these fields blank. When you have finished completing the fields, select OK you will be returned to the Browsing Company Rolodex window, where you will see the new entry. Close this window, and you will be returned to the Company Management window. In the Company Management window, you will now see an icon telling you that Rolodex entries are present. Click on the Rolodex icon, and you will be able to view, add, edit, or delete these entries. Next, we will work with the site table to record multiple shipping addresses for this company. Select the Sites Action button. The Browsing Company Site Entries window opens. To record a site address, select Add. The Adding New Site window opens. In the Description field, type a name for this site, such as Alternate Warehouse Address. 
The description field will not print on documents. Complete all appropriate remaining fields and select OK. You will now see your new site in the Browsing Company Site Entries window. Close the Browsing Company Site Entries window to return to the Company Management window. To add, edit, view, or delete site entries, select the Sites action button. To recap what we have learned, we have attached notes for a company. We have added multiple contact names in the Rolodex. And we have recorded an additional shipping address in the Sites table. You may now proceed to Module 3, Segment 3, Company Management Global Functions.